Akira Toriyama is dead. That's, there's no other way to sugarcoat it. I don't want to, you know, make it seem like it didn't happen. It did happen. And I don't want to talk about his death, but I just want to talk more about his legacy. Dragon Balls, bro. Whether it's Dragon Ball Z, whether it's Dragon Ball Super GT, whatever, whatever form of Dragon Balls was introduced to you, you've probably enjoyed it. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who said, you know, there's so many other better animes. I get it. I know that's true. Because for me, my most favorite anime is One Piece. But guess where the inspiration for that even came from? Dragon Ball Z, Akira Toriyama. Like, he created a path. He created a universe. He created possibilities for other artists, for other animators, for other people who, like, who even liked anime, for people who watched anime. He made them feel proud. He made them feel seen. He made them feel appreciated. And to understand the backstory of him never giving up, even though at times he felt like his art was not good enough, even though at times he felt like no one believed him, even at times when he was creating one of the most greatest characters to ever exist in fiction, there were people out there who didn't even realize that the great legacy that he's built would never be here if he didn't continue going. And I feel like he's inspired many people in different ways to just keep on pushing. Even me, like I take example from what he's done as an artist to be like, if he was able to reach his dreams and die doing what he loved, then I should be able to do that. No matter how many people are against me, no matter how many people doubt me, no matter how many people laugh at you and I for chasing our dreams, a man who was one of the greatest to ever do it has proven it to us. He died proving that to us. He lived his life knowing that he did what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. He's inspired so many, bro. Like Masashi Kimoto, bro. If I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not. The creator of Naruto. Ichiro Oda, bro. The creator of One Piece. And so many others, bro. The creator of Bleach. The creator of... um, What's this other show? I know that there's a lot of anime out there that he's just inspired in ways. Forget even like anime, even Western media, Western animation. You even see references of some of the freaking Kamehameha, the super, the, the spirit bomb, the super saiyan. Bro, the super saiyan, the most iconic transformation in all of anime. There is nothing, I say, there is nothing that will ever compare to the feeling, to that childhood feeling of seeing Goku turn into a super saiyan for the first time. Fight me, I don't care. There is nothing better than that transformation till this date. And then he did it again with Ultra Instinct. And then he did it again with Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. And then he did it again with the fusion of Vegeta and Goku. Like, this man created so much. The characters were amazing also. Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Krillin, Beerus. Man, he... It's so wild, man. And it's so amazing to have been there. Even if you weren't there when it first started, when it, when it was still in the wave. Just... In being introduced to all that, I know you felt a certain type of way. I know it felt amazing going to school every day and talking to your friends, drawing. I in, in primary school, I used to draw Goku all the time. I used to trace, I used to make sketches for kids at our school because it was just like the best. And it didn't matter that Goku was not like us. It didn't matter if you were black. It didn't matter about your background, if you were Asian, if you're from, I don't know, Mexico. Mexico freaking idolized Dragon Balls, bro. You guys don't understand. This man has done so much for us to be able to be accepted. And I feel like a lot of people were bullied back then. But it's because of him, it's even widely accepted. Like, he's inspired so many artists, bro. So many artists look up to him. So many artists follow his, his blueprint. He created the path, man. He started it all. Only him and Pokemon were the only other dominating. And I think Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not sure. I don't know the complete history, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. But he has always had it in the bag, bro. And by the way, he has shown that if you continue doing, if you continue following your art and in developing it, creating even complex stories. I know a lot of people don't see the stories, but Dragon Balls has one of the best and amazing stories I've ever seen. The growth of Goku. The development of Vegeta. Bro, Gohan. Oh my God. Krillin, Piccolo, Beerus even. It's just, I'm speechless, man. Trunks, all these characters, bro. Like, man, he created something so amazing. So amazing. Like, I, I don't think anything like that can ever be replicated. Whether it's the moments, whether it's the experience, bro. Like, at home, bro. Every kid was at home when it reached 5 p.m. They were on time to watch that show, bro. Dragon Ball Z was the show, bro. Everybody, it doesn't matter what other show you like. Dragon Ball Z was it, bro. It was amazing. 
it was truly amazing. It was a, a moment that no one, like he has instilled moments in so many of our childhoods and that is not debatable. All over the world, man has built billions upon billions of friendships. He has inspired millions of artists, millions of animators, millions of um people who've ever wanted to voice act it for anime for anime bro it's just it's incre it's crazy bro the games the, the 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 toys i don't know what to say but it just seems like i sometimes don't think people understand how much this man has created how much he has done for the anime world how much he has done for the manga verse it's 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 something we just need to be grateful for even though he's gone and i know his works is in good hands we have seen that he had been doing you know future projects that were going to come out and I just want everybody to appreciate it. I just want everybody to just keep the legacy, you know, going on. He created one of the best things we know to this date. All we can do is just keep it going. All we can do is appreciate every single moment and, you know, reminisce. Maybe even go back and watch the old series. Go back and read the old mangas. Just, just to see how much it has changed. Just to see how, how far we've come. This man created something beyond anybody's imagination. Beyond his own. And inspired all the others to follow. He encouraged all others to do the same, and that's why we have the the booming anime world we have. We we are experiencing right now. The internet knows about it. The TV Hollywood knows about it. TV industry knows about it. The freaking media of all sorts they know about it. Games, bro. News, bro. Whatever you can think about, bro. Everybody has has discovered Dragon Balls in some certain type of way, and it's just all thanks. To Akira Toriyama. So all I can say is, rest in peace, man. I appreciate what you did. So many have been inspired by you. I'm being inspired by you, and not just by the the show. It's your life, and how it just shows me that it doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how many times I've fallen. Even Goku has shown that just keep on coming back stronger is the most important thing you need to do. And I'll keep on trying to live by that till the day I reach the point where I feel like. I've made a difference. I've inspired people. And I can bring more onto the platform. Other than that, God bless. Have a nice life. And I'll see you and I'll see you.